you join me at Nottingham Railway Station. Today I'm actually travelling towards Alpherton on the Erosh Valley Line. The Erosh Valley Line runs from Nottingham to Chesterfield. There's only three stations on this route as well, which we're going to call at all three stations. However though, there is a twist to this video today because the line between Derby and Chesterfield on the Midland Bay Line is closed for engineer work and East Midlands train services and cross-country train services are diverting onto the Erosh Valley Line. So I'm going to head over to Platform 3 now to wait for the 1017 Northern service to take us to our first station on the Erosh Valley Line. So most of my journey towards Alfreton today is actually relying on Northern. So a lot of Class 195 DMUs will be ridden on today. However though, it has brought me to the first station right here. This is Ilkeston Station. And it actually looks a bit modern because it opened on the 2nd of April 2017 on a site which actually used to have a railway station here as well, which I'll explain in a second. So as I mentioned earlier, this railway station is actually built on the site of a former railway station because the Midland Railway opened Ilkeston Junction on the 6th of September 1847, which is actually on the same site as Ilkeston today. In 1890 it was relayed to Ilkeston and Cossall, however the station did close on the 2nd of September 1967. Actually that date is wrong, it's the 2nd of January 1967 the station closed not the 2nd of September 1967 and it didn't reopen till 2017 as you see today. I've just come outside Ilkeston station for a second to show you this right here. It just looks like a road under a bridge, nothing exciting. However though, this used to be track bed for a third platform that was here when it opened at Ilkeston Junction and took trains towards Ilkeston Town. That line closed in 1950, while well, the station at Ilkeston Town closed at 1950. But you can just see where the old track bed used to be today. However though, I am going back towards Ilkeston Station now because I'm catching the 1129 Northern service to Langley Mill, the next station up the line. I did actually try to rush through Elkiston Station when I was doing the segments and all that for the piece of camera. And I do apologise on that, but I wasn't impressed with how that turned out, to be honest. Because I kept messing up some dates and... When I'm at railway stations, I actually tend to be here for an hour because I'm actually filming all trains that pass through here. And in those times that there's nothing happening, that's when I do the piece of cameras. And Sometimes it can be really stressful getting it all done, to be honest. But yeah, I wasn't happy with Elkiston because I was rushing to try and get as much can as I've done to piece the camera. But anyway, let's not dwell on that because the next station I'm coming out right now is Langley Mill. And as you notice, it's actually a bit of a staggered station. It does have two platforms, but I'm standing on platform one and platform two is just over there. Now Langley Mill Station was also opened on the 6th of September 1847 by the Midlands Railway. However though, when it was opened it was named Langley Mill and Henall. 
1876 it was relayed to Langley Mill and Eastwood. 1933 it was relayed to Langley Mill and Eastwood for Henor. I think that's how you pronounce that. The station did close on the 2nd of January 1967 and it didn't reopen until the 12th of May 1986. Now I did say at the start of the video there was a twist to this video with the East Midlands Railway, London St Pancras to Sheffield services and the cross country train services diverting on the Earwash Valley line. Well this scenario has taken an unexpected turn because there's another twist to this as well. Because I have noticed there's some interesting movements on the Earwash Valley line as well. The first one we're going to get at Langley Mills Station which is a class 47 diesel locomotive from Locomotive Services Limited. It's hauling 10 coaches from Crew HS to Doncaster West Yard. We are going to get that one through here right now. So now we've got that class 47 out of the way, we're going to move on to Alfreton station to get the other interesting movement, 2Q08, Derby RTC to Doncaster West Yard. I think it could be that class 950 diesel multiple unit. They did see that at Derby RTC this morning. But to get there though, we've got to get the 1236 Northern service to Alfreton, which is the next station up the line. Quite surprised with that to be honest with you, because I thought it was going to be the Class 950 DMU that was going to come through Alpherton. Turns out it was a Class 153 diesel multiple unit. Anyway, we do love a good dog box, so it's nice to see a dog box. But we are at the last station on the Earwash Valley Line. This is Alpherton Station. It is a bit longer because it does have two platforms, but it has more services stopping here than Langley Mill and Ilkeston. And when I came off that Northern service at Alfreton, that's the last time I'll be travelling on Northern today. I'll explain a bit more when we're about to leave Alfreton. The other two stations we stopped off at today opened in 1847. Alfreton opened much later because this opened on the 1st of May 1862 by the Midlands Railway. Now in 1891 it was relayed to Alfreton and South Normanton but on the 2nd of January 1967 it also closed as well. But this one didn't reopen till the 7th of May 1973 as Alfreton and Mansfield Parkway because at the time Mansfield never had a station till 1995 and then the Mansfield Parkway was dropped and it's just named Alfreton. Originally I was going to go to Chesterfield on Northern to complete the entire Earwash Valley line. However though the prices and a bit of the plan was a bit of a headache round there. So I thought turn back at Alpherton to head back to Nottingham. So I'm waiting for the 4006 East Midlands Railway service to go back towards Nottingham but that carries on to Norwich. However though it is running late. It's running about 7 minutes late so but I still have plenty of time when I'm back at Nottingham anyway. So I'm going to hop over to the other platform now and catch that East Midlands Railway service to Nottingham. Sometimes there's such a big gap I can't get on the train. Really surprised me. This we left Alpherton six minutes late, 
and we got to Radford Junction just before Nottingham on time. So this class 158 has really carried it down the Airwash Bay line and we're going to be in Nottingham on time. So I'm now back at Nottingham Railway Station. Honestly, seeing those cross country and East Midlands Railway divert on the Erosh Bay line has really been epic. But we also got the Class 47 diesel locomotive at Langley Mill, and we also got a Class 153 dog box at Alpherton. And other than the mess up at Ilkeston, because I was just trying to rush that to get that through, it has really been good on the Erosh Bay line. I'm going to drop a video right here. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trade. I'm going to leave Lottingham now back to Tamworth. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the journey down the line in the future.